Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys a little bit of a different one. This is going to be loot from 1000 Hellhounds and I did decide to kill them all in the wilderness with a Ring of Wealth imbued equipped which means that the rate of a hard clue scroll would be only 1 in 32. So I know that Hellhounds don't really have a drop table. You know, they only drop the Smoldering Stone which is 1 in 32 thousand so clearly i don't think we're gonna get that in 1000 kills but you never know so that just kind of leaves the clue scrolls and you may ask yourself well mr no sleep if it's just clue scrolls why don't you just do a clue scroll video well the thing is i want to kill every single monster in the game and it just just kind of goes along with it so the reason that i'm killing them in the wild is so that i can try to run into as many pkers as i can and you guys know what i do in that situation you know with especially this gear this inventory here uh and that's the goal for for this video is not only to get as many hard clue scrolls as we can but also to encounter as many pkers as we can and if everything goes well not only will we get clue scroll caskets but we'll also get a lot of other stuff and that can make this loot video worth doing so hellhounds you know may not be the most interesting monster but luckily for me the location where i was killing them in this video was interesting for more reasons than one and that location being level 50 wilderness right outside the web near the resource area, the axe hut, and just a short run away from the lever and the mage bank. And luckily for our very first PKer of the video, he was right next to the lever, so this fight ended just as quick as it started, to be honest. I guess he didn't want anything to do with the ballista. I don't blame him, it is a very powerful weapon. And speaking of weapons, you know, alongside all these clue scrolls, of course, you can see on the left side of the screen, most of the time anyway, that we were on rune light, and it did assist me greatly with all the clues. As I was trying to do one though this ghost interrupted me as I'm trying to go to the lever and I guess he was also bothering this Iron Man so you know I decided all right let me just take my time with this one this guy doesn't seem to be doing too much damage so let me plan this out unfortunately the dragon claws did fail me but smite certainly did not alongside the whip and the ballista the combos were just too deadly for this guy and we did get the kill and I may not have gotten the spirit shield but I like to think that I made that Iron Man feel a little bit safer and if you're curious for this video what worlds that I was using. Most of the time it was either worlds 420, 416, or 373. You know, a lot of the time I do use total level worlds whenever I'm in the wild, whenever I want to see people, and uh, most of the time it works out. You know, what I noticed about this spot in particular is that these hellhounds not only drop hard clues, but they're also standing right next to multiple hard clue locations. So even if you're not seeing any PKers, you're going to see a lot of people doing clue scrolls. And most of the time these people weren't risking much you know they would just bring a weapon to kill the uh, wizard that spawns or something like that as for this guy he uh, wasn't doing any clue scroll but you know he was just trying to get his wilderness slayer task done and unfortunately I interrupted him I don't know I really don't scroll too often in this gear but I just wanted to see you know what would happen and yeah that happened so after I got back from the bank I decided hey why not try out a PvP world so in the first couple minutes this random guy comes up to me and says hey you know come with me my whole clan is at Scorpia say hello to them so I'm just casually walking into Scorpia and I notice there's about 10, you know, majors and I'm a little worried because I do see some people in PK and gear. It was like taking candy from a stranger. I did not know what I was doing and it did not end good. They all started attacking me so I made a run for it. Luckily got away, went through a lot of my food though and I was one of three people who had the diaries complete. So I just enter the wilderness resource area and I try my best to attack the two guys that were in here with me. And I know these guys are just having a good time, you know, but hey, they did say that they skipped to the end of every video and also they have ad block turned on. So you know if that's the case, I gotta take action somehow. At least go to Walmart to the computer section and just put my videos on loop like I used to do. Either way, we did get our revenge and we did get one of them killed and the other one didn't attack me. I just logged out as quickly as I could and walked away with 800k. And shout out to this pure for the nice words. As you can see, he had a Zamrock staff on and maybe the reason for that is because a lot of people also do the Majorina 2 cape around this area, not to mention the Majorina 1 cape as well. You know, to do that, you do have to go through the lever and, uh, you know, run past the web, and you do see a decent amount of the time anyway, some people doing that, uh, even in total level worlds, you know, some Iron Men or other accounts. That Iron Man there actually showed off his 1kc chaos elemental pet, so congratulations to him. Back to the action though, as you can see, these two guys came out of nowhere to the south side, I think, while I was killing some hounds, trying to get some clues 
blues and uh, they seem pretty friendly you know I talked to them for a little bit and they did ask me what I was doing so I responded you know I'm just getting some clues doing some anti pk and that's when they uh, decided to attack me so what happened next I didn't think uh, was going to happen in a million years but basically one of them granite mall specked me and I knew right away well this guy has no spec I think we have a good shot here so even with overhead prayers intact uh, the ballista combo with the whip and the claws saving spec till when I could really use it patience was key here with this fight and I had plenty of bruise so I really wasn't worried too much about dying plus I had the diaries so there's that so as his friend was distracted with the hellhound I decided to pull out the claws when he had the robes on and there you go one kill out of two was completed I didn't really know what to say in these situations because I was honestly just kind of relaxing watching a movie while killing these hellhounds so XD is kind of my go-to I think it's like a smiley face or something either way I quickly turned to the friend and that divine super combat potion he sipped I think hurt him a lot more than it helped him because it cost him an armadill god sword you know these guys did say at one point they wanted to be in the video but I don't think that they tried to lose an armadill god sword intentionally because the first guy almost came close to killing me a few times and the other guy who lost the armadill god sword look at the gear I mean he was PKing with van braces I mean virtually no strength bonus so not too sure how to conclude that one but good fight gentlemen I will take an armadill god sword any day of the week definitely makes the price check at the end of the hellhound loot video much more expensive than I ever thought it would be and as I return to hellhounds I noticed that there was a mystic major getting a little too close multiple times so I decided you know since he's not going to attack me let me go check it out see what he's up to and he was just lurking near Scorpia so I wasn't going to skull up that's definitely not going to happen in multi not as crazy as my younger days either way though I just continued to use my whip on him and he really just didn't attack me at all so I was a little confused at first I thought this was either going to be a bait for a clan to log in or this was going to be a skull trick you know I spam uh, click his loot pile and someone logs in underneath however neither scenarios did happen overall loot from this guy 520k according to runelight and unfortunately he did disconnect uh, which actually makes pretty good sense luckily he wasn't smited for the dragon crossbow if he was I would have given it back though as I just did with all of his other stuff I'm no saint but a disconnection really I mean there's no point in keeping a kill like that and since we did get the armadillo god sword pk earlier on I decided that I would switch it up and bank the dragon claws and withdraw the armadillo god sword maybe get some luck going with that since the amount of pkers seemed to be at least every 100 to 150 hellhounds through this video you guys have seen the type of pkers that you want to run into and these are the guys that you don't want to run into this is a three-man team one of them being a max major the other one being a mystic major and then the other one being a pure so it's definitely a weird trio but I respect it well unfortunately they were camping prey melee so the only option I had was to use my ballista and right before I used it I sipped a brew and my range level was I think only 96 so I hit a 44 and that could have been a potential I don't even know like upwards of 20 mil PK just there so did get unlucky but you know I had to survive more so than I wanted to kill anyone and the tele block did wear off and I did get away but man did I want that staff well we are over the halfway point of the video and over the halfway point of the kill count I think this was around 550 KC at the hellhounds had a great fight with this guy we both used a lot of supplies but neither of us killed each other so yeah good fight after I got back from the bank I noticed the guy got hit by a hellhound who was in full black mystic and he was only like 20 HP so I ran up and as quickly as I could I equipped my ballista and I shot a javelin at him and I just one hit him it would have been a really funny clip but it was just you know way too fast paced and for Camtasia I have to wait three seconds to actually record so in this scenario I had to record after but you know we got like 150k from him so I hope he ended up getting the cape I did kind of feel bad about that one and here's the only time that I did get double hard clues during this video and I also did juggle them so I completed both of them and I got two caskets instead of one so that was a nice bonus that was the first time I ever tried doing that it wasn't too difficult using Edgeville as the uh, dropping point and I think there's people out there that do a lot more than two clues in one sitting so you know testing my limits here here we have a group of four PKers alongside me I had the sandwich lady now they're down to three made my way back to the lever after looting a few of this guy's stuff and I was just kind of taking my time this guy was sitting at an ideal HP for an armadillo god sword and they were now down to two so yeah two PKs out of four and I did get away so that was awesome 550k from the second guy and 400k from the first guy another popular location right next to these hellhounds and north of the resource area 
area is, of course, the Axe Hut. And inside this uh, Axe Hut, you know, there are people doing Wilderness Slayer. Usually these people bring cannons. It is a very fast Slayer task because these magic axes are aggro, as well as the Hellhounds, too. So it's very hard to kill someone in this location. It's almost a certain getaway when someone's trying to escape. Luckily for me, though, I was planning this for about 15 minutes, and it worked out. Man, I feel like Torvesta or something, you know, killing someone who actually has a lot of loot that, uh, you know, never really dies. This was crazy. And the only reason this worked was because I was at Hellhounds for so long that the north one was not going to attack me as this guy ran by. And in any other situation, that Hellhound would have obviously cost me the kill. So yeah, that was really lucky on my part. Perfect timing. Even that guy laughed about it, so no big deal. I think that was like a 1.3 mil PK. And although I have 1 million cannonballs in the bank, I will always take more. Well, 17 hard clue scrolls and many PKs later and still we have no deaths this video, but I might be speaking a little too soon because this, ladies and gentlemen, is the most experienced team of them all so far. So we have a three-man team and I was trying my best to kill this guy here, which was the teleblocker. Had I gotten lucky with the dragon claw spec or the last ballista hit there, I would have been un-TB'd and I would have gotten probably at least a couple mil PK'd there. Unfortunately, RNG was on their side and they did live through that, not only uh, living through it, but also killing me in the process. I couldn't last all the damage, uh, so yeah, that was really unfortunate. I lost about 600k there, not a big deal, but I really wanted to kill the TB or that would have made for an incredible comeback clip, but you know, you can't get your way all the time, unfortunately. But overall, though, we were reaching 20 hard clues, and since the drop rate of hard clues is 1 in 32. I was pretty close to the drop rate since I was using the Ring of Wealth imbued and I was enjoying every step along the way. You know, I would always bring the Lunar or Draymond Staff alongside the Max Cape and the Spade. Whenever I would bank, I would bring out the Master Tele book and anything else that I would need, uh, you know, teleport wise would be in my player own house. And here we are at 900 kills overall, 100 left to go. And I decided that since this is a video about Hellhounds, I might as well show the other location in the wilderness where where you can kill them at. A burning amulet is required for this. You have to teleport to bandit camp and run all the way east into this dungeon area here, which is essentially just the rev dungeon. This is all the way south in the rev dungeon where hellhounds can be found. A very popular spot for wilderness slayer. Reason being is because this is multi, unlike the area where I killed them. Now you may be wondering, Mr. No Sleep, why not kill them here instead of where you decided to kill them near the lever in 50 wild? Well, mainly because this spot is multi combat and it only takes a really experienced team to kill someone in five steps of multi. It only takes one tele block and one barrage to land and I'm dead. Or even a lucky dragon claw spec, you know, for example, right there. You never know what can happen. You gotta be ready for anything. But yeah, I just prefer singles. I do much better there than in multi and I just feel like the odds of you getting skull tricked are definitely heightened in multi combat as well. So either way, uh, each spot is good. There's also in general many other locations in RuneScape where you can kill hellhounds at. You can find them in the catacombs, you can find them in many different Slayer dungeons, even in the God Wars dungeon, and of course there's the boss of all hellhounds, Cerberus. Also, shout out to this kind Iron Man, you know he was uh, just wishing me to have a good day, but then he tried to open his clue casket in the wild, and so I had to remind him the wilderness is a dangerous place, no matter who you run into, you can't trust a soul. But nevertheless, for me, this was a great experience, loot from 1000 hellhounds has been completed. Gotta be honest, I went into this video with uh, a lot of doubts and all of my expectations were surpassed significantly. All right, 30 hard clues from 1000 Hellhounds. That is really good. And on the second one, we already got a master clue. So luckily I have almost all the requirements on this account for masters. So we will do them as we do see them appear in the inventory. And this is really where all the profit comes from 1000 Hellhounds. We were not lucky enough to get a smoldering stone, although we had some lucky PKs uh, uh, we didn't really have any luck for the drop table as it goes for the stone. What I noticed about these hard clues is that pages are worth a lot less than they used to be. I remember a long time ago, Zamrock pages used to be the top dog as it goes for the price of all of them. And I did see a lot of pages during the opening of all these clues, even multiple pages in one clue at a time. Of course, you're going to expect a lot of alkables, a lot of rune items, and, uh, you know, some magic short bows, some dehyde pieces, and rune light was keeping track of all the clues much easier and much cleaner than I do, so I will give it credit for that. Yeah, we did get a Rune Defender ornament kit, so that was a unique. Down to 10 caskets now, you know, seeing the number 80 a lot, the number 100 a lot, that's, you know,
you know, average and sometimes above average. So I'll take it. And either way, you know, we still are looking for the master clues. Only got one so far, and we're now down to five. So my RNG could have been better for the masters, but luckily, as we're dwindling down to only one hard clue scroll left, all those random rewards stacking up, we did get another master clue. This will be the last one of the video. And with one hard clue remaining, it is now time to see how much we made from 30 hard clue scrolls starting at 620 and ending at 650 in honor of 1,000 hellhounds we made 3.8 mil rounded up from all those hard clues a lot of pages a lot of teleports and a lot of everything in between now from two master clues the first one we did get 358k uh the row bottom was kind of cool but not that expensive and from the second one uh 287k so just about 650k from the master clues not that impressive but you know, I'll take it. Now from the Sarah and the Zamrock wizards that we encountered throughout all these clue scrolls, we did make about 90k. That's from all the stabs and everything that they dropped. And now it is time to price check all of the expensive things that we did PK. And of course I will show rune light in one second, but everything in the inventory and in the tab does come out to be 16.1 mil. Overall loot from 1,000 hellhounds comes out to be 21.2 mil, 30 hard clues completed two masters 28 sarah wizards 14 zamrock wizards and 11 players most of them being pkers so i can honestly say without a doubt that hellhounds were much more exciting than i ever thought they could be and i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed doing it this is my 100th loot video in the series and i don't intend on slowing down or quitting it any time in the future at all not gonna make this long or anything like that i just want to say I got two words for every single one of you. Thank you. Until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.